Inshallah, to the best, I'm trying, I'm trying. When I went to Pakistan, I met General Zia, I spoke to him, no? I met Jumejo, I spoke to him. And the people, unfortunately, the people around them are not keeping them informed. See, the head of state, what the poor fellow knows what's going on. His eyes and ears are you, his ministers. If you don't tell him what's going on, what can he know? When I started telling what is going on in Pakistan, I said, you know, there are 200,000 Christians in Sialkot on the border with India, a potential fifth column, 200,000. And I said, they're boasting that so many cities in Pakistan, there are more than 100,000 Christians each. I said, Karachi, more than 100,000. Lahore, more than 100,000. Multan, more than 100,000. Sialkot, somebody, when I said 100, he said, more than 200,000. So he says, he's telling his, his ministers, his assistants, he says, Pakistan, to Islam ka kila hai, this is the fortress of Islam. And he says, this is cracking. What's for you? No, he went it. He cried. The Prophet said, look, what is going on here? No, this, this is what it is. Unfortunate that the people around them are keeping them ignorant about what's going on. But when you show them what's going on, it hurts them. It hurts them. They want to do something, but we will try. We will try. Another one. Dear brother, I had a discussion with a Muslim brother, and we were talking about the Jews and Christians being our enemies. But then at one stage, he said that every Muslim is partly Jewish due to Prophet Moses and partly Christian due to Prophet Jesus. What is your comment? <laughs> no, you see, in a way, laughingly, we can say that we are the true followers of Musa alayhi salam, we are the true followers of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, but we are not partly Jew and we are not partly Christian. Islam has come to supersede them all. Whether it be Judaism or Christianity or Buddhism, every ism. So we are not partly this or partly that, we are Muslims and we are destined to supersede them all. It's one of the most fantastic things, broadcasting, any uh, electronic you know, media. The Christian is using it. They're using it. The Koreans from Korea, they're broadcasting to Saudi Arabia. I'm telling the Saudis, I say, look, the Koreans are broadcasting to Saudi Arabia, but in the Korean language. They want to see that their people are not converted to Islam, so they're broadcasting day in day out. The Christians are broadcasting from all over the world, you know, beaming, beaming to Muslim lands. But the Muslim somehow, I don't know what has happened to him, that you know, he's like deaf, dumb and blind. He doesn't know what's going on around him. And at times he's prepared to sell his own mother. The Muslim is prepared to sell his own mother. Uh, I can give you examples, but I don't want to because it's going to hurt some people just now. Leave it out. But the Muslim is very ready to sell his own mother even for a mess of pottage. Uh, there is a question here, it's a very, very strange question. It is written in Arabic. Anyhow, I will read it only to satisfy or the brother who wrote it. And it is irrelevant to our uh, uh, session. Then I think he it says, what is the meaning of the Lord 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 uh, he is asking that uh, he says he made a mistake and says King Abdullah uh, came to inaugurate the race course with the K Queen of Britain. Is it Islamic uh, action or is it Islamic uh, way or, or is it halal or haram? Uh, this, 
this this such questions is anyhow is irrelevant to our session you can ask him privately we're not gonna ask the sheikh <laughs> yeah he wo he wo he likes to put me in trouble yes i'm ready to face it anyhow uh, so many times you heard me here in the pulpit saying and condemning those are participating in the race whether they are kings their abirs i said that publicly and one of their uncles he was here and came and introduced himself to me saying i'm so and so the cousin of that man i said sorry but i said the truth that happened here in the mosque so i am not afraid to uh, to answer any question anyhow someone is asking how our brother did that to raise his voice because they can't hear him <laughs> nicely but what about the man the man now i am not going to say that he is an old man he is an old in age but his heart his mind his spirit is so young and uh, moving but uh, can you imagine that he is standing now one and a half hour i myself i became very tired and i'm asking him to sit and <laughs> we are not going to exhaust him more more than that and inshallah next time i pay, i ask your permission to conclude the please, meeting please uh, we we always we have the way to conclude our meetings always by reading surah al asr so repeat with us a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim wal asr inna al insana lafi khus illa alladhina amanu wa amilu s salihat wa tawasaw bil haqq wa tawasaw bis sabr wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam allahu allah